Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Welcome. the Lou and Chan channel. Yes. This is our kitchen. And we thought we would cook for you guys today. We love this. making new recipes. In our first um, week of marriage, we went through this book and bookmarked quite a few. Quite a few. <laughs> the binding actually broke on it because we we bookmarked did too so many. many. But we thought we'd just flip to a random recipe tonight, and then you can come to the grocery store with us. And we'll cook. We'll obviously cook, cook whatever it. that is. We'll just buy the ingredients and leave it in the fridge. <laughs> yes. No. So, uh, how should we do this? The issue is, I kind of know where all the Asian food then, is. Then no. Okay. Then let me. Okay, okay. You, okay, pick a number between one and ten. Uh, seven. <laughs> Slow cooker chicken tiki masala. That sounds like something. That sounds really like. good. I mean, it sounds good. Yeah? It doesn't sound crazy, though. No. Should we do something harder? I feel like fate just decided. <laughs> You're mad. I'm not mad. It's not, it's kind of boring, right? It's pretty boring. Right? We've made this before. Right? We've made this before. Or is it doing like a Dora the Explorer oh. moment? <laughs> Press the button and send um, food into the piles of hay. Right. Let's, let's try that one more time. Uh, one in 10, uh, five. Five. Healing chicken soup. <laughs> I mean, that looks good to me. I maybe, yeah, no, maybe we picked the wrong recipe book. I think we, these are pretty simple. Those are pretty simple. Uh, I think we need some more exciting content for you guys than chicken noodle soup. Okay, let's try a couple more and see where we land. Okay. We make our own rules here in the Benzinga There's just really no rule. Are we, should we just have picked something? Oh, new? this looks good. Pad Thai? <laughs> it's spaghetti squash pad Thai. Let's find a different recipe book. picky for this. Also, since we're being really picky, we should also share with them our allergies. I'm dairy free <laughs> and nut free. Gluten and dairy. That's why we're being drama right now. No, it's not. You're right. <laughs> we could have no, eaten all these things. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, this looks good. That looks unique. Coconut yeah. curry butter not squash pasta? Oh okay, yeah, that sounds really good. You want to do it? I yeah. feel like we just agreed on something yeah. and then we can make a protein on the it side. That sounds different. <laughs> oh, people say it's mac and cheese. To the store! Mac and cheese's cousin. <laughs> mac and cheese's cousin. Hey, cousin mac and cheese. We, How are, you doing? we made the beginning of the list. Oh, let's add the rest to it. Ooh. What do we got here? What like do we, we got? We have most of it. We just need the butternut squash, olive oil, shallots. Garlic loaves. Loaves. <laughs> loaves of garlic, we honestly. Have we, have, we have all of it. Maybe that's like copyright infringement. <laughs> oh, we need salon. Hmm. Oh, but like there's curry powder and coconut milk in it, so I guess that makes it unique. Hmm. It'll taste good. It'll taste really good. I'm kind of excited now. We just came up with an idea. We were flipping through this. We were needing a protein and came across the walnut crusted scallops with butternut squash and obviously those must pair well. So we're gonna do that, but without the walnuts, we don't want my darling going into anaphylaxis. And then- Anaphylaxis? Yeah. It's not anaphylactic? Anaphylactic shock. Oh. But anaphylaxis is like the event, I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we're gonna do gluten-free panko. Nice. That'll be so good. That will be good. Okay, this gets me hype. Okay, this good. This gets me excited a lot more than <laughs> what is the cousin of mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, such a random thing to pick. Okay, yay, I'm excited. <laughs> it's a little shaky though. Ready? Noise. You flashed the camera. Did I? No. Scooby da 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 baba. Scooby da 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 baba. Is that all we got? A little more. I think we have a little more in us. A squeak, 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 squ
want to tell the folks a little bit about this, uh, this area? vehicle. <laughs> this is a Prius, the one and only, the one and only in Newport Beach, and uh, truly the only Prius in Newport Beach, California. What's behind you? This is where we had our wedding rehearsal. And by rehearsal, you mean? Dang it! I did it again. Um, reception. They both start with an R, so he gets confused. It's a little difficult. Mm -hmm. And it's also where we go to get groceries. Not the restaurant, though. No. That's way too expensive. <laughs> oh, we didn't get the butternut squash. Oh, yeah, that's important. Do they have that? Oh, no, they probably don't have it No, here. they have chunks. Oh, okay. They definitely have Those still look good. I wish I could. There's another Priya in Newport Beach. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. My brother. Does anyone else do this? You buy groceries and you immediately, you immediately eat them. <laughs> veggie chips. Veggie. That's for me. <laughs> veggie chips. <laughs> oh, what the hell, that thing of me where I'm having, let the, let the games begin. Let the <laughs> I wish this was like timed or something. We'll just dun, make, we'll make it look dun, really intense. Dun, dun, I'll put some really intense dun, music dun, on. Dun, dun. We're gonna cut some veggies. These are pre-cut, luckily. Lucy's gonna do the cutting though. And I'm I gonna do cutting. the measuring. So, yeah. why do you love cooking so much? <laughs> um, no, it's just, it's so therapeutic. Such a form of expression. Yeah. Things also taste so much better when you cook them yourself, I feel like. Mm -hmm. So at the beginning of our relationship, I was definitely the cook and then Lucy was- You couldn't even consider me like a trier. <laughs> Lucy was, I don't even know what to describe it as. Yeah. Lucy's like pretty much just ate pasta and orange chicken. Tortellini with butter and Parmesan. Yeah, that And was. orange chicken mm -hmm. and bacon. And so anytime she would like invite me over to her house while we were dating to make me a meal, I always kind of got awkward and I was just like, oh, like. Maybe not. I thought he was worried about imposing and I was like, oh my gosh, no worries. But it was because I only made tortellini. Oh, and pot stickers. That oh, was yeah. such a big thing for Lucy. I'm like, I don't think the I TJ's want a full pork meal pot stickers. of just pot stickers. Yeah, only, only pot stickers. But quite the improvement, as you can see from some of that cutting, what inspired it, you to start cooking? It was honestly having a gluten allergy. Once I, I, once I got circle. a gluten allergy, I had to pin it Learn a little how to bit. Cook, I, sure. I really did. And then, the dairy kind of developed and is not as bad as Chandler's is, but because yeah. of that, when every time we cook together, we have to make a the lot of modifications. The dairy allergy, too. What? You just said the dairy, so. The to, dairy to clarify, allergy, To yes. clarify, I feel like we refer to our allergies as the just, gluten. just gluten and dairy. Like, yeah. I have dairy. Yeah. I have <laughs> gluten. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. For me, I, I just, I started learning how to cook from this Nintendo DS game. Um, and it was a pretty much just a big recipe recipe book, but you kind of like flip through all the pages on your DS. And so I remember there was this one time where I just got really into the game and I wanted to make this like salmon with this homemade pesto drizzled on top oh, yeah. of it. Didn't you make it for your family? And then I like made it for my whole family. And I was like, Probably like fifth grade or something, but I was so proud of myself. I was like, didn't they say it was pretty good? Chef. Yeah, I would make it today. I mean, yeah. it was a good recipe. 
but yeah but i feel like since then i've always just like enjoyed cooking yeah we'll have to do like a video at some point of like the things that we really love cooking yes like those are just random i'm excited to see what this yeah, is like it'll but, be good honestly but um all right back to cooking back to cooking Uh, little cauliflower to go on the side as well. Mm -hmm. We've got our squash, a simmering. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we accidentally, actually I shouldn't say we, this was all me. <laughs> <laughs> I put a turmeric in there instead of curry by accident and then I had a fun time scooping it out <laughs> before it soaked in. This will be for the scallops. Uh, it's panko Rick. with some garlic powder and paprika. This is the progress so far. What do you think? Comment down below. Comment down below. What do you think? <laughs> Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. <laughs> What's your technique? You step on it and then go. Step on it and go. <laughs> this is a splash zone. <laughs> this ring looks so good. Yeah, that does look good. We've got our scallops. We're gonna fry these up. Here we go. You did such a good job. There goes job. nothing. That looks good. That looks really good. Okay. Get a finger on. Yes, we're ready. Little taste test. Taste test. Also, here's our first impressions of curried, cur curried squash noodles. <laughs> Coconut pasta. That. <laughs> yeah, no, it's really good. It's really good. So many veggies. I mean, it definitely tastes like- It doesn't taste like mac and cheese. It I was tastes gonna like say, a curried. Well, I was gonna say it tastes like butternut squash soup. Oh yeah. Up. But- There is the curry. But the taste. coconut definitely makes it taste a little more like vegan mac. Mm-hmm. You killed it with the um cauliflower. The I, cauliflower. I think the cauliflower are really good. Woohoo! Yeah. Have you had a scallop? Is it good? It's really good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Would we recommend it? Yes. Absolutely. Would we cook it again? Yeah. I think we'd probably get bigger scallops. Yeah. And and or like we could probably try different proteins with it, but mm -hmm. honestly, the cauliflower with it was a really good call. Yeah. And also the the curry or the scallops typically have like pretty much the same sauce that we used for the pasta the just recipe. on the side. So I could see us doing just it like complements it that well. as like a sauce. Yeah, it really yeah. does go well. And it works with the panko. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Okay. Well, Wow. I hope you enjoy this week's episode. We should do it again. We should definitely do this again. It'll be so fun. Next time we'll do... um. Some of that, our classics. Yeah, like the peanut chicken or the cur the coconut. Or sorry, the uh, cilantro carrot curry that we do. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. love a good curry. We pretty I'm much only that. eat like homemade Asian food. You know, post your favorite recipe. Maybe we'll take some suggestions. Yeah, absolutely. If there's something you want us to make, let us know. Mm -hmm. We'd love to do it. But until then, we need to sign off. We need like a little sign off thing. We need a little cheers. <clears throat> until next time. Bien venue. Does that mean good night? I don't know. I think that means welcome. Welcome. <laughs>